What is up, everybody, and welcome to week 25 of the Challenge Circuit Course Guide Series. This week on the Challenge Circuit, you will be playing at Knobs Creek Tour. I think this is a course that a lot of people are going to shoot well at. I think it's a course that you're going to have a pretty big cut line this week on the Challenge Circuit, as it is a good course, but overall not the most difficult of courses. Even playing on a little bit... Uh, of a higher uh, settings for conditions, like high wind, very firm greens, you can still score on this course pretty well. And you will have some of those conditions this week. There is a very firm and very fast potential for greens and green speed with high wind. The thing is that this week, for your round one, you have the high wind right up front and very fast greens right up front. So that will be the thing that makes this course play a little bit more uh, difficult, but still scorable. Now, very fast might come back in another round. High wind might come back in another round as well. Uh, and you still have the very firm greens to deal with. But overall, the course is pretty sprawling. So you can kind of work with very firm and very fast greens. Well, let's head on into the course for the Scottsdale Classic here at Knobs Creek. One thing you'll notice is uh, it's, a very, it's a very sprawling course, and you'll see that. Um, what's great about this hole with the wind not working in our favor, that's a fine, we can just play it up over here. Uh, on the right side, into another fairway completely, and we can still get a good shot uh, coming into this green here on hole number one. Works perfectly fine. Whatever we can do to, to get it up on the screen to get birdies, that's that's the name of the game. And we will do whatever we can. Hopefully I can keep my tempo in order today. This will work out really well. And just like that. Hopefully, we're about to make this. Just like that. Birdie in the tote. Right off the get-go. We'll see how the wind plays on these par fives. Um, but a lot of the scoreability comes from being able to score on the par fives fairly easy. Oh, uh, wind's in our face. This could become a problem. Let's find out. Got 105. Let's see if we're going to be able to make it up there with this wind straight into our face. I think it's going to be a little bit tough. Hmm. Might make it if we overpower it. We're going to try. If we end in this bunker, though, that's fine. Wind's gonna beat this down. I didn't think I was gonna get 105. 105 gets it there easily. This is gonna be a tough putt here for an eagle, though. Just because of the way that this uh, green slopes out. Big putt coming in here for our eagle. Slightly uphill, which is good. Got to creep this up the hill and kind of work its way back towards the hole. But all we need to do is get it close. Just as long as we can get our birdie. That's all that matters. Is getting that birdie. But if we can get an eagle, that would work too. A little bit firm, but that would have been fine. Just like that, though. We have ourselves another birdie in the bag. Now, some of these holes you can't get in trouble with the water and everything, um, but it's an easy layup if you're if you're really worried about that. It's an extremely, extremely easy layup on this course. Oh, 
So if you're if you're truly worried about heading into the water, just lay it up. Lay it up, take your easy pitch shot or, or simple wedge in, uh, and avoid that water. You can avoid it. Pass is it, not what we wanted. The wind's gonna beat it down, but this putt's gonna be pretty nasty coming down this hill. Honestly, anything than what I just did would have been good, because if you can get it on this slope, it just it all funnels back into the into the hole. That's just uh, yeah, that's bad shot. We're gonna play this back 12. Just gonna tap this down this hill, get it close. Close enough where we can save par. Goes in, it goes in though. Just close enough that we can save par. That's all we wanted after that bad after that bad approach shot. Yeah, you can see from the scores, still a lot of people scoring well on it. Yeah, and I, I tested it. Nice wind at the back. You can actually drive it right up onto the screen. So you get the wind kind of at your back for one of these uh for one of these days. You're gonna be looking real good. We're just going to try to get this up as close as possible. If we can, uh, I'd like to get us into a splash range, which it looks like we did. That was ideal to get us into a splash range. And let's just get it up here nice and close. Fast the hell out of it. That's unfortunate. Not exactly what we wanted to do there. See if we can make a birdie. Okay, that broke a ton more of my feet than it showed. Another par, two bad approach shots. It's not how you're gonna score. Yeah, look at some of these scores. Seven under through nine, seven under through 13, eight under through 10. Uh, I think you're going to be seeing a lot of that at the top of the leaderboard this week. I want to get this thing front side green. We pop it up into the wind a little bit. Slowed it so it's going to run all the way down this hill on the right. Dang. It's not the greatest of shots right now. Not the greatest of shots at all. Just gotta get it close. That'll work for a lag putt. Just had to get it close. We did. Uh, this definitely is a week where this uh, this video is a little bit like there's just not a there's not a lot. That I can, you know, 
say in the forms of, of course management, per se. Uh, as the course plays pretty straight up, I would say. And that's, uh, that is honestly, sometimes I feel like I say that and it, it, it comes off as if that's a bad thing. That is not a bad thing at all. Um, I think that this course plays very well. But it's a really uh, kind of straight up from T to green and on the greens as well. There isn't a lot of like trouble areas or, you know, sloping on the fairways that you have to look out for uh, that it can lead to problems. If you go off into the rough, or if you go off into a sand trap, you can recover fairly easily. There aren't any, like, holes that you're going to get killed uh, on, on something like that. Long par fours, uh, nothing out of nature. It's just a straight up... Good course. I mean, it's, it's a good course. I like it. I've had fun doing my practice rounds here. That time we got a nice wind in the back for the par 5, which is great coming in to this green, especially on very fast greens. Uh, we want to land this essentially front side green, have it take a bounce, and have it roll. That's what we're looking for. Six iron's going to be too much. We're gonna, we are kind of in between clubs right here. But if I can just get it to the front side of the green, that's all we need. That is all we need. That's it, so we're definitely gonna make it to the front side green. <laughs> we'll still have a chance, we'll still have a chance at an eagle here. Just a little bit tougher. If you can get it in front side green, if you can see, it's a little bit calmer on the, on, uh, front side than it is back here. It kind of gets into a little bit of a sloping back here. So that's why we kind of wanted to land it front side green and rolled up so we could have a little bit of a calmer putt, but. I'm going to play this true to its elevation. Hit it a little firm. Might be okay, though. It is. All right. We take home an eagle. I mean, yes, please. Yes, please. We love them eagles around around these parts. Another big sprawling fairway for us to hit. A lot of green to work with here in round one. So you can you can really put this anywhere in the fairway. It doesn't matter if you're right, left, down the middle, um, wherever you're at, short even. Uh, you got you got a ton of green to work with and a very kind green coming up. If you land this short uh, and you don't make it up the hill, completely fine. Don't even don't even worry about it because that is a putt that you can absolutely make. The one thing you don't want to be is long here, um, and the reason for that is this is very plateaued up. So. If you go long, not only are you going to have to deal with this hill, which is going to pick up speed if you chip it or splash it, doesn't matter what you do. Uh, it's going to pick up speed that way, but it's going to continue to pick up speed where you're going to end up rolling out. I've done it like three times when I was testing it, like attacking the pin and if it's viable. And you're going to have this putt either way. So why not just give yourself that putt in the first place? which is what we're going to do um, by landing this thing short side green. And if we don't get up the hill, we don't get up the hill. That's fine. 
We're going to have this putt one way or another. I would rather take it here with a completely flat surface, although I have had Ghost Break a couple of times here. We're going to see if we have it again. Oh, we're good. And just like that, we take home our birdie. So, hole eight, short no matter what. Just play it short, dude. Don't play it long, because you're going to end up par bogeying it. Give yourself that birdie. Closing out here on the shorter par four. And the reason why that's good is you do have some water over to the left. Uh, off the drive, it doesn't play. If you want to lay this up, you can. Because if you look at it, you could lay this up. Look, even with a three wood, you're still a buck fifty. You know, if you don't want to play it into the sand. If you go into the sand, though, it doesn't really matter. You can still recover out of it quite easily. We're going to play here left side fairway. Uh, the reason I like to play on left side fairway is... If we do fast it, coming into this green, this wind should carry it to a safe spot. Coming in from this angle. So that's what we're going to be playing for. Just to avoid... If we do fast, it isn't going to kill us in the end. It's going to come right back off the green. I wouldn't take it a little bit more than I wanted. Good chance for a pop-up chip-in birdie here, though. Close. Take our par and move on. Good front nine, though. Six under. A couple of pars where I wish I would have had better shots for birdies, but... We will absolutely take a six under going into the back. Another little bit of a plateau, but we're going to aim a little long. If we end up a touch long, it is fine just because of how long the plateau is. So, that's what we're going to hope we're able to do here. Or we red slow it, barely get onto the green, and don't have a putt. We're going to have a putt at this. I do actually have a putt at this. <laughs> uh... All right. Not something you see every day, this putt. Would love to make it. I am not going to hold my breath for that, though. Especially since we have to get it so high up on this hill to have it roll back down. Hell of an effort, though. A for effort right there. Don't do that. Okay? Don't red slow it. <laughs> don't, don't, don't red slow it. Another par five. We're going to make it no matter what. I'm going to overpower just to get a little bit closer, but... With this wind, we'll make it there. We do have water to contend with, so we do have to watch out for that. We should be good no matter what here. Decent speed coming into it. That'll work. We get ourselves a nice, again, nice little chance for an eagle. Coming into this hole, you just got to keep it right. Right of the green. 
Uh, right of the green. You don't even want to flirt with that. There's no point in flirting with that. Because even if you end up off the green on the right side, you can still get it close with a nice little chip or a splash shot. So just don't, don't even, don't even flirt with the left side, going at the pin, trying to land it higher up on the green, or like further up the green to try to attack the pin. Right side green, aim for the fairway, let it funnel back in. Give yourself an opportunity. Don't take the opportunities away. I'm hitting the ball a little firm right now, which I do not like on very fast greens. I do not like that at all. Still get our birdie, though. Two more par fives to come. Two more par fives to come. This is that uh, Unicorn 73. Rip and rip, right down the middle of the fairway. You can kind of see the spots where you don't want to miss. We just want to keep this thing right. Because keeping this thing right gives us a chance at a birdie putt. I pulled it a little bit. We still have a chance at a birdie. It's just going to be a little bit tougher from down here. Uh, up above the hole, as you can see, not a whole lot of break again. Which is what we were looking to get, but that's alright. We still at least have a chance. Let's see if we can capitalize. And that was a putt that didn't break at all going up that hill. Par it is. Par it is. Still got a lot of places to score. I think I've hit every... Have I hit every single fairway so far? Pretty sure I have. Uh, the front side uh, pin position might be a little uh, scary at first, but you're bringing in a wedge, so you can still attack. Don't be afraid to. I have been pulling it a lot lately. Boom. I have to start looking down at my stick a little bit just to make sure that I'm uh, keeping this thing straight. All right, drivable par four. Easily drivable par four. The tricky thing is to hold the green. Uh, I have only been able to hold this green one time. I've ended up way down, which is an awful place to be. So if anything, you want to end up here. You want to end up over here in the bunker, or you can try to sneak it on up onto the green, which I'm going to try to do. Can't make any promises, that's for sure. Uh, we're going to try to get it up there. But if you can be in that little waste area, or not waste area, but just like the rough sand trap off to the left. That is ideal. Just don't go long. 
Like this? Fine. Perfectly fine. Because we got a short little pop chip up here. To potentially get ourselves a nice little eagle if we can get it there. Fasted it, unfortunately. But that's okay because... Easiest pie birdie shot. This should be a hole that you birdie every single round, even if the wind's straight into your face. Uh, it's just one of those holes where uh, it, it leaves you open for a, a lot of a lot of chances to put the ball in a place that allows you to get a birdie. Again, we're gonna aim right side. So I want this to finish on the right, and I don't want it to go too far past or too far to the left. And too bad I fasted it, because that is exactly what it's going to do. Too far left and too far back. Luckily, it got off the green. Thank you for that. Shot just hasn't been there lately. Definitely ran into uh, tempo pro temple tempo problems. We'll take our up and down par though. As we are 9 under through 15, and we come up to the stretch of the par 5s, where we get ourselves a chance to really get that score down. Oh, give me in the fairway. Ugh. That sucks. Don't do that, because now you have no chance of getting up for an eagle. Where before, you would have had a great chance to get up for eagle, because you don't have that long of a shot to go as long as you can get it into the fairway. Oh, that is, that was, is a bummer what just happened there. We can recover, though. This this uh this green's really 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 good to come into also to get yourself a nice little eagle chance. Wow, and I slowed it. This was a bad series of events that we just did here. <laughs> uh the screen's not too bad you i have i have a ton of eagles here so to get a par that really uh that really huh, burst the bubble that's for sure we'll try to make it up here as we're coming into the wind a little bit harder one with us coming into the wind, but still doable. Still doable. I just didn't execute shots on these par fives. This is going to hold, especially since it slopes, but... Did not execute shots. Because again, this is a very, very, very generous par 5 green where all funnels back into the hole on both sides. So, to, to miss both of these greens for a chance at an eagle, that, uh, that definitely hurts.
And especially coming down into this red slope. Boy, that's even worse. Oh, man, I will take that, though. Oof. What a lag putt. For a second there, I thought that was going to fall. It looked like it wanted to fall, that's for sure. And here we end it. You can get over this easily. If the wind's in your face, don't even tempt fate. Just lay it up. It's a short par four. Um, so don't even don't even worry about laying it up. Uh, if the wind is in your face, don't do it. If it's at your back, absolutely just hit it as hard as you can. Doesn't matter. We go in this bunker? Sure. Uh, completely fine. Completely recoverable. Even if you end up in the rough. Completely recoverable. 57 yards to go. So don't be afraid to just attack attack the hell out of it. Too bad I can't get my tempo down. Cause that's another one, dude. Look, it's just there's not a whole lot of movement if I can just get my tempo down and, and hit it to where I need it. Uh, instead, I'm playing this game of let's make every single shot a little bit harder than it needs to be. We end on a par. 10 under. Could have played uh, so much better. My best score, my best score here is a 14 under. My worst, my worst score here is a seven under. And that's on four of my rounds I played on high wind, very firm, very fast. So the very fast definitely adds another layer of difficulty to the course. But overall, this is a course that you're probably gonna score pretty well on. I would I would say, gonna score pretty well on. I think no matter where you're at in the CC circuit, uh, if you're in the, like the, the, the top half of the CC circuit, you're probably gonna be looking at a cut line of, I would say probably 14, 15 under. Uh, I think that's something to, to probably, to probably uh, strive towards as well. So that is it. Knobs Creek. Go forth and conquer. Thank you so much for joining me for this challenge circuit course guide. I hope you do well. Even though there wasn't a, a whole lot uh, that I talked about, I feel like, for this course, uh, hopefully this video at least helps you get a lay of the land. Take a look at the course itself. As always, if this is a video that you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like on the video. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications. That way you're notified every time a new video goes up. I also want to announce that here very, very, very soon, uh, I will be starting up uh, Patreon, which was one of my uh, goals of things to do for this year. It's going to have uh, some nice perks, some behind the scenes stuff, some editing stuff for people who are getting into uh, maybe editing, you know, PGA tour videos or sports videos or just videos in general, some uh, some behind the scenes uh, looks at my editing and what I do for editing. It's going to include some videos that I have that I haven't posted. It's kind of like my Island of Misfit toys for videos. Uh, I'm going to be posting those up onto the Patreon. And there's also going to be uh, a section for game specific stuff. So if you have a course that you've made that you'd like for me to critique, and give feedback on. I will play your course, give you a nice voiceover, let you know things that I like, things that I don't like, and maybe I can help you, you know, maybe become a better course designer into the future. Uh, and there's also gonna be other perks and other games as we start to venture out into the different sports games. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, I'll have a formal announcement, but I just wanted to kind of, if you made it this far in this video, I just wanted to kind of give you a little sneak that 
a Patreon's coming for those who uh, are looking to to support and also get a little bit more content in return. Other than that, I am out of here. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. Again, good luck on your rounds this week, and I will catch you on the next one.